Hey you guys. So I thought we'd do a little framing tutorial today. Um, so I, I'm, I'm doing a little frame for a, a, a piece. It's actually for my solo show uh, next year. And um, you know, it's just a little six by eight. And I wanted to give it a nice frame. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a composite. So I started off by taking an old frame that I had that was just painted black. You can see that it had a couple of other layers of paint in it. There's some, some golds and some reds uh, in there. And it's, it's a pretty old, nice, solid wood frame. Uh, so I took my premium paint and epoxy remover. This stuff is toxic as fuck. Um, you only have a couple of minutes, even with a few layers of nitro gloves on, you only have a couple minutes before it eats through these and uh, it starts to burn them onto your hands. So you gotta move quick with it, but it strips lots of layers of paint really fast, which is awesome. Um, so now, I love the way it looks now. There's some of that gold shining through, a little bit of the red, a lot of the black is still there. I didn't super deep clean it because I like having textures in my frames, uh, just like I do in my pieces. So, so that it'll fit in here, I went ahead and I made this little guy. So this guy uh, was just a plain wood frame. I took some antique gold uh, spray paint, and went over the inside of it here, where you can see there. And I used an ebony stain um, for uh, the outside of it. So you can still see the wood grain through it. Yeah, it still looks really nice. I just spilled a little bit of that on there, so. That's why we have these rags handy. So anyway, so yeah, a little ebony stain. So it gives it like a nice antique feel. So I think that these are gonna look really nice together. Now, the only problem is this is too small for that. So to fix that problem, I cut another plank of wood and that's gonna go on the inside of this. Get in there, baby. Yeah, so that goes in the inside there like that. It's nice and snug. And then I'm gonna wood glue this to it. So the piece is gonna end up popping out just a little bit. It's gonna create all kinds of cool depths of feel to the frame itself. I'm going to do a black stain on this uh, as well, on the piece of wood that's inside of it and then cut down the painting to fit inside of here. So that's where we're at right now. Um, next step, paint this, seal this to it, and do a couple of layers of stain onto this to see how it looks. And then once it's all put together, I will seal it up with a couple layers of shellac. I love this stuff. Um, you know, if you just spray paint a frame, and don't seal it with something hardy like that, what's gonna end up happening is every time you bump the frame, it's gonna take paint off of it. Uh, and, and you obviously don't want that. Frames get bumped. That's kind of what they're there for. They're there to protect the painting inside. So, um, yeah, we have stripped and stained. Uh, first layer of ebony stain on there, probably the last layer too. Um, it gave me a nice gray and darkened some areas. Um, it looks, looks pretty nice now. Still like that you can see some of the red and the gold through it, but it's just a little too light. Um, I want a little more depth to it. I want to darken some of the corners. I want to, especially this area here uh, around the rim, I want to get that nice and dark. So I'm gonna do my next trick that I love doing. This is probably not news to a lot of people, but <clears throat> I'm gonna use a spray paint and I'm going to spray and then use some newsprint to wipe. Uh, for this, I use a satin enamel black uh, from Ace, the, the premium. I've used a lot of brands over the years for this, and by far this is my favorite. Um, this stuff dries super fast, almost too fast sometimes, um, and uh, it's, it's got a nice even spray. The head on it's really nice. So anyway, um, that's what we're going to do right now. So I'm going to show you how we do this. So I'm just going to hit it with 
pretty thick layer. And then white. And if you get shreds of the paper on there, like here, that's fine. <clears throat> Just use like a coarse brush later on to wipe it off and uh, that stuff will come off of there uh, pretty easily. So, yeah. so you can already see the difference. Still some of the color showing through, especially like right here. It's just a little bit darker and, uh, and that's what I'm going for. So yeah, so that's it. All right, so here it is, the finished frame with the piece inside of it. So as you can see, like this is the smaller frame that I attached um, using the, uh, the little piece of wood in the background. Uh, I, I love doing composite frames. I just think it looks really cool. Um, you, know, you get a lot more, I don't know, you get a lot more options when you're willing to, uh, to put in a little work and make it look sweet. So yeah, still see a little bit. It's kind of hard to see in the video, but there's still a little bit of the old kind of poking through. So it's a little bit antiqued. Um, but yeah, there's the back, so you see how I, I glued in the panel and then used some uh, little pieces of metal to secure it in there. And then this is just glued in. Um, I love this stuff. This one, everything I use is premium, I just realized today. Like the spray paint's premium, the shellac, the, all that stuff. It's, um, I don't know, I'm a sucker for, for a good word. Uh, but this stuff works great. I mean, it's yeah, that thing's not coming off, so you, you have to pry it out of there. But anyway, thanks for watching the tutorial. Um, happy framing. Bye.